Yes, yes. Welcome back to another episode. I'm Will from Will's Electrical Services and this is Electrician TV. In tonight's episode, what I do is I take this back to uh, where we, I'd done the uh, first fix. Well, say i done it recently. A boy's done it months and months ago and this job's been going on for quite a while. This is a, actually a, uh, a rental property that's actually never been rented out because it was a, it was one of the farm workers uh, uh, bungalows and uh we show you all different stages of the way and it's i find it quite interesting really because we as you notice we it actually started i think it was probably in the winter last year and it's just nearly finished now but there's loads of pros and cons because it's never been rented out all the windows had to be done we've done air source and all that sort of stuff and I'd just like to say that I've been getting quite a few uh, positive comments about my channel and all that. And I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. So if you could like, follow, subscribe and flick my bean, it helps the channel grow. Bosh, let's get into it. All right, Monday morning. So this is basically a bungalow that we uh, we rewired this year, but we've done it all on uh, surface trunking. But where it's all being refurbed, they want us now to uh, cap it all. Well, obviously, they've taken all the render because it was all blown. So we've got to uh, now obviously rewire it to uh, alter the wiring. Most of it's been done, but we've just got to alter it so uh, all the uh, be plastered. But look, it looks lovely, doesn't it? So obviously most of the lights are all sweet, they're just literally need, uh, capping down. I think uh, Nigel, the builder, is going to meet us here because he was on about that he wants it taken in. I think even I think he even wants the uh, he even wants oval conjure instead of uh, capping for some reason. I don't know why. I think there's a there's a, a depth he's got to go to or something, but he's going to meet us in a bit. But yeah, it's lovely. So we're down the board. I think we've done this. When did we do this? Consuming it is not the responsibility. Yeah, look. Too fast. So we've done it early last year. That's coming out as well. That's all coming out. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, so this is all done. That's the only bit that we can't do because that's the riser for all the main cables. But they're just going to box that in. Oh, here he is now. All right, let's crack on. Reese and Ebsy are starting here today, and then all throughout the week we're all going to be here. Okay. Yeah, so we're back here. This is day two. Reese and Ebsy was here, but it's Reese and Ollie. Do you want to talk us through it all then, Reese, baby? Yeah. We don't always see you on here, Reese, because I only get sent one video and it's a bit odd. I can't put it in. So what have we got? Um, well, we're just uh, we've rewired it already, basically. It's a surface rewire, and then when the tenant moved out. We obviously they've stripped it back because it's such an old house. They've got damp, a damp problem, so it's getting all moulded or checked, injected or something. Yeah, so now we're just chasing everything, chasing everything in. Um, so we've done the lights yesterday, obviously. Yeah, chased the boxes in, sorted all that out. Yeah, then, uh, you know that one on the counter? Are we doing at the same height as the sockets? Yeah, so the sockets are going to be the same height that's, as that. That's our standard, eleven fifty to the centre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah no. Yeah, and then obviously we've got to come around the hallway, um, and two way down to there. Um, yesterday we drilled the holes for uh, the fan isolator. Yeah, for the fan. Got that. Yeah, nice uh, fan isolator up there. Um, Done well, guys, didn't you? Removed, removed an old fuse board over there, the old off peak, and the, uh, the storage. Yes, Reese, baby. Yeah, so we've just got all of the lights done yesterday. Today, focusing on the sockets. Yeah, um, that's just redundant there, isn't it? Yeah, that's redundant. But, um, yeah, so that's good, really. Yeah, nice one. Get there, all right, case. Yeah, because that was our main riser, wasn't it, back there? Yeah. But yeah, they're just going to box that in, aren't they? Yes, guys. It's absolutely lovely man there. Oh, I love this little bungalow, I'd love to live here. Look yeah, at that who's he got? Well look at little Gloria up there and all, we see. The dog walks that you can go on. Yeah, walkers out there, look. What are they gonna borrow Darcy Oh no, of course you've got uh, I've got big bowls on You've got Bertie, in now. Bertie big bowls. How far has he walked, Reese? As far as 
harsh one. Is he? Yeah. I thought I'd right. be right. 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 like Ollie and struggle with them old big old bowls. Nah, I know he's a short fat thing, but he can go forever, not like Ollie. <laughs> Right, right, Thursday morning, Reese is going to give us a tour. Go on then, Reese. All right, so we're just in the kitchen with this one. We've done a rewire here before. It was all surfaced. Now they've stripped it back to brick because there was loads of problems with like damp and stuff. So yeah, we've just wired the kitchen. That's obviously a light switch socket. A couple of sockets over there, light switch to the leg. On this side, we've got a socket here. The fridge there, there's going to be washing machine, dishwasher. And then obviously a sink there, so we just going to run those under the unit. Um, that's the uh, load cable, which obviously all the isolated going to be in the cupboard up there. Yeah, so obviously, oh, another thing is, sorry Reese. is all these outbuildings are being disconnected today and we've been using the, because uh, that was a radial straight from the board, we've been using that as temperature supply. So we're going to have to swap over the central heating, Reese, you baby, aren't we? Yeah, this is, um, is the triple for the start, just things that we put down there as well. Yeah. The wiring but yeah, so we're just going to swap out one of these to a single socket for a temporary power. That's all being uh, Bradley's, uh, the plumber's going to re redo all that anyway, isn't he? Yeah. It's a sauna. Nice little room here, nice little fire. I love this place, I think it's lovely. It's going to be well nice. Makes me hold this go to his little day, so racy, baby. Oxford's never braves, mate. Oxford's never braves, <laughs> No um, brown in town. Yeah, um, yeah, obviously, like, there's a light switch there, light switch there, socket, socket. Yes, so, so, nice, why, nice so why have these been chased in then, Reese? They've been chased in external wall and the builders are a bit funny they don't want to um, go over the capping with their uh, well I think it's they've got a 25mm bit in there or something they've got um, this insulation board so it's not like they get fancy just like notching a little bit out fair enough obviously yeah that's, a, that's an old bit that's got to come out isn't it no one wants to do it yeah that's old getting yeah certainly it's cats it's old Lenners um, en Enzo Fernandez Lenners well chuffed Lenners aren't you Yes, yes. Um, yeah, that's where the stats going to be. Stats. Yeah. So we've done all this. I think yeah. I showed all this yesterday. Yeah, all that switch. All the holes. Are we going to do them this or Nigel going to repair all them? Um, Cade says that he's not fussed about it. So. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. I think they probably want to, the state of it, they probably want to reboard it, wouldn't they? Yeah, probably. And Len's got a core hole through there, but he's just sorting them think up. Nice one, Reese, baby. Yeah. It's all done in there. It's nothing really to see, just a bit of capping and all that. Yeah. Yeah, these are all going back to the unit because they're virtually brand new. We just I'll probably just clean them up a little bit or try to. You know what I mean? Because the guy won't even live in here, so they've not even really been used, have they? No. <laughs> so all the lights and all that have obviously staying the same, it's just the switches and shit. But yeah, nice one, done a neat job recently, isn't you? As always. That's fine. That's enough for me, but I'm looking. Right, so we're back at this job. This is a bit of a hospital job. What we've done is me, Len and Ollie, I think I might have recorded some. If not, then I'll, I'll go for it. But we've second fixed most of this kitchen, so this is all done. This ain't screwed back yet just because we need to still test it. We've got the sockets in there done. We've also got to sort this out for Alex as well. We've got to extend that down there and put a single socket for this booster. Also outside, we're not doing, I don't think we're doing the internal wiring, or we might do, I'll have a little look at it. When we come to connect it all up, I'll probably do it, because he gave us quite a good drawing of all that. The builder cut out our 10 mil worth, so we've got enough one there, and what we've got is we've got a mechanical through crimp, yeah? So obviously that can be extended, we can test it afterwards. We had to do this, because the builder left an absolute whacking great hole in the uh, in the unit, so the only way we could cover that, a surface box wouldn't have done, covered that. So above there, we've got the helmet lights, which I'm gonna do, that's one of my jobs today as well, is what I have noticed is that there isn't a hole in the back of the unit, they've just put the wood across, so we obviously can't get the, uh, the helmets across. So what I was gonna do, Ebs, is I was gonna do three of them, do, um, like just an L shape. So what I'll probably do is bring bring a dummy bit to hide the lead. So a bit like dummy bit to hide the lead, then go across there. But what I was gonna do, I wasn't gonna come through I wasn't gonna come through here because I thought it'd look untidy, but 
it's going to be a bit of a nightmare because the only way we can really get through these units is if we uh, run a bit of mini trunking now inside the unit because I ain't taking the unit off, it's not my fault. And to be fair, not that we're going to be more relaxed, but it is a rental property than rather someone's house. So whoever moves in, it'd be no. So basically what this job was, I've already probably, know, you've probably seen, is that we rewired it years ago, uh, seems like years ago, last year, yeah. and then we've come back, chased it all in, we've done the kitchens all new. I don't think, did they knock anything down? Was that, there wasn't a wall or anything, they've just redone it all. Ebbs is going to connect the uh, air source unit outside, which I'll show you in a minute. All this bit's all done. What we have done is, because the air source guy, it's got two supplies to it. It's got a six mil, 32 amp, and it's also got a two five, I think it's 16 amps. I think it's like a, a backup heater for Legionnaires and all that. So that's what them two isolators are that men fitted the other day. We'll show you in a minute. We've got the Hager Dual RCD. This is, uh, I'll, I'll bleat on about that later on in the video, but that has got the two A type and the surge protection. But where we've run out of, where we've run out of ways, we're gonna have to put RCBOs to create some more capacity! Yes? Right, let's just quickly show you outside. Yeah. You seriously ain't got a neck, have you? What's your mate? <laughs> What's your mate? It's coming back, guys. Go on. Right, we'll just quickly show you outside what we're doing. So what we've got is we've got the two isolators there. We've got the six mil on the left, the two five on the right, and then what Len done the other day is that this, we've actually put high tough in it, because if you look at the back of the unit, see where it's got the stuffing glands? Yeah. So obviously I ain't gonna start making off an armor, because obviously this vibrates. So when, when you bring the cable into the actual panel, we're gonna have to do like a form of helix. Yeah. You know, a little curl, so if it does, it comes off, and then they're just gonna be made off into the, we were just discussing these, weren't we? Uh, have a look at them isolators. Is what you've got is you've got these plastic isolators which I use. I think they call it Gevis, but we call them G Wiz. Yeah. Is it Gevis Paul says they're called? Cool? Yes, yeah, something like that. Oh, I absolutely love these isolators, but me and Ebs were just discussing this, and a poor old Len got a bit in a twist the other day. It's where you've got a plastic isolator and it's going on a, a brick wall. You, you're never ever going to get that isolator level, so you need to never well, say win. not not get it level, you need to work with it, you know what I mean? Don't rely on rely on your eye more than the level how it just twist around and all that it's a common thing and it's a hard thing to get over but no get into it well, we're actually finished here but obviously the builders are still working here so we've got the fridge freezer we've got all the appliances we've got all the uh, sockets and that underneath they're ready to go they're all sorted what we've got is this is from the other video i'll put a link above there the led strips what we've got is we've got all the isolators in there because the builder brought out the hole was too big, we've had to fit that trunk in, which it looks all right, you know what I mean? It is what it is. We've obviously got the heat in. I've only had done to the isolator, so I don't know if Alex has actually finished it yet, because obviously that cover looks like it's missing, so I'll let him know about that. So that's the dull king. With the air source, we just leave the, uh, the supplies to them, so I weren't too sure, which they obviously don't need that central heating one there, so I weren't too sure, but that obviously all, all fed from that central heating too. I'll show you the isolators outside in a bit. So yeah, back into here. Earlier on in the videos, you can see when Reese is showing around, some of these uh, cables were. So when they actually come and uh, redone it all, they literally uh, they literally had to rewire some of these sockets. I think it was this one in here, because as you see earlier on in the video, they were laying on the floor. Because obviously when we run the trunk in, because it was this was already rewired in mini trunk in, and we just literally had it going around there, but obviously they managed to rewire it. Come out really nice. We've, uh, this is obviously still gonna go in a, uh, a cabinet and all that. So obviously we tidied up the uh, tails from last time to the board and we converted it into uh, to now all uh, RCBOs. This garage power is uh, obsolete. So they've got one spare way. You know, I think there is also another couple of spare circuits there, but where that was a dual RCD before, we just converted it to create the more spaces because the actual plumber wanted four actual, uh, wanted four actual circuits for their air source, which I'll show you outside. So this is all in here, which is really nice. You know, it all goes through. That's where we'll obviously all our cables come down, but they're gonna box that in as well. 
And yeah, it's coming out really nice. They're still doing the windows and see, but it's a beautiful place. And it's got all that. We actually put this fan in as well. This is one of the extras that we've done. It was the kitchen and this fan. We're actually, at the moment, doing all the fans for all the, uh, for all the properties at the moment. Because of the damp, that's the controller. It's nice. That donkey, now, usually with the air source, we just normally do the eco dance, but I'll show you. I'll show you outside what it's like and all that. We've just got the two isolators. Yeah, so they, they used to have power in there, but we've stripped them all out. So there's no power, but there is also the whisker box up the top. So this is it all in here. This is all to be boxed in, I believe. So we've got the isolators down there. You know, we fed them to there. Obviously it's got the, uh, what's going on with that one? But yeah, we, we're down there high tough because obviously they've got the, uh, whisker boxes there and we've got the helixes because obviously this should vibrate when it's going along but yeah it's all along but we're not responsible for that we just actually like gave them the two isolators and the isolators inside so that's all that and as you can see it's absolutely beautiful like when obviously they've just mowed this i think they actually got the tractor in there and done it but it's a beautiful place absolutely beautiful it's come through but yeah, as I say, like it's not actual finished by the builders, so they've got to do the doors and all that and sort all that, but yeah, it's getting there, isn't it? Right, thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you're gonna be anything, then be electric. Up the old blues, you know, keep it well. I hope you got something out of the video. See you next week. Bosh.